anxiety, uh, stress, panic attacks, um, being afraid. Uh, this is what I see in many of you today. Many of you um, are facing and fighting panic attacks. You're facing and fighting panic attacks right now. I can see you running around trying to fix certain things because there are some of you that's listening to me. If something don't happen, you're going to be homeless. You have nowhere to stay. And so you really need God to move. And some of you, you're in a situation like that too. You're in a situation where you need God to move and you're going to die. You're going to die alone. You're going to die with nothing. Uh, and so I want to let you know that God says, do not panic. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. Matter of fact, the Bible says that even David says he, he he's old, but he was young, but now he's old. And one of the things that he's he's always known, his testimony is that he's never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And so, in other words, God is not going to forsake you. God ain't going to forget about you. He know where you are. He know your heart and he know what you're fighting through. And see the thing about it, it seems like some of you, the harder you fight, the harder you push to get ahead, it seems like things push you back. Stuff happens. Unexpected things happen that sets you back all the time. And it's like a cycle. And you're tired of it. You're tired of it. When will God? When will? When will the cycle be broken? This is how you feel. You're tired. You're tired of being in this place where you are. And you're frustrated. Panic attacks. Worry. And also, in the midst of all that, it's bringing frustration, anger, bitterness, all of that. Because things are not happening. You've been doing what's right. You've been living right the best you know how. Paying your tithes and all that or whatever God is calling for you to do. You've been doing all of that. But still, you look at your neighbors. You look at people you know that don't know God, that, that don't do right. They're being blessed. It seems like they're prospering. It seems like they're advancing. But it seems like you're, you're regressing. But the Bible says to fret not yourself because of evildoers. Because soon... They will be cut off. The treasures of the wicked are laid up for the just. So trust them. Trust them and don't panic. Don't panic. God is on the job. And now I speak that God bring a miracle to you today. I speak that God bring change to you today. I speak that God send you something. Send, send someone your way. Send, send a blessing your way. I send a breakthrough your way. I send a promotion your way in Jesus' name. I pray. I prophesy life in the midst of darkness. I prophesy peace. Why are you surrounded by confusion? I speak that you're going to be the head and not the tail. I speak that I speak that what's holding you is going to let you go. I speak that what's talking to you is going to become quiet. In Jesus' name, you go in God and don't panic. Believe God. Trust him. You trust him this far. Has he helped you before? Did he make a way before? See, he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Don't doubt him. Don't doubt him. Don't doubt him. Because when you become frustrated and start complaining, that's doubt him. And only faith can please them. Only faith. Okay? I'm going to hit this year right quick and get it in right quick. But this is a new day. There's a release too. There's something that's been broken off of someone's life today. There's something that's been broken. Broken off of your life. God has broken. It. it is God's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. God bless you. Have a good day.